Welcome back to part three. Tim Stack here again. Now we're um, sort of working on our short video podcast here in iMovie 09. Uh, pretty much the same process though if we're in iMovie 08. So um, we've got a title on, we've got a still image on, uh, I've got a little voice over, uh, voiceover going um, for that still image that I just recorded straight into um, iMovie. Now I would like to be able to capture some video to add to this project. Um, so I have a webcam hooked up which would work very similar to a document camera if you had it hooked up. So what I want to do is I want to demonstrate something that uh, I could demonstrate on my desk, uh, you know, some math problems I could write or if I needed to draw a picture or if I had some manipul manipulatives that I wanted to use um, or even like a whole science experiment. I could record. So, and I want it to record it straight here into iMovie. Um, instead of having it to record on a separate camera, then transfer the video in, um, you might need to do that. We'll do that in a, in a, in a future uh, tutorial, you know, recording with a, a flip camera. Um, but that's most, if I if I'm want to record something that I can record next to my computer, um, this is a much faster way. So, I've got the camera hooked up. And I'm going to come over here to this uh, camera import window button. I'm going to click on that. You can see the import window uh, opens up. And there's my eyesight camera that is trying to do an autofocus. But you may have to switch here because I have a built-in eyesight. You know, that's if you want to record video of yourself. Hi there. So if you did, they need, didn't, you did want your um, folks to see a talking head. Uh, you know, you could be doing a demonstration here. Oh, look, I can put my lid on my pen, or something like that. Or I can have a drink of water. But in this case, I want to record something that um, I'm going to do on my desktop. So I'm going to switch there to the eyesight camera. Okay, and you can see um, there's my hand there, and you can see my camera auto focuses. So this will be very similar to the document camera uh, that you have. So. When I'm ready to capture, um, I'm going to push this capture button and it wants to know where to save this video to. So I'm going to create a new event here um, and just call it my um, EMAD temp event um, so that I, just so I can find it. That's going to go in my event library so that I can find it and keep it organized. So I click capture and there it's starting to capture. You can see along the bottom it's capturing. So let's say that I was you know, doing some math here and I wanted to demonstrate some stuff. Now of course this is very complicated math. So if I was trying to teach my students um, something and I, that I could draw a picture of, I might do a diagram like that. Or if it was more um, of a demonstration, I'm just going to use this white paper to make it a little easier to see. Like for instance, if uh, I wanted to demonstrate how to do something or experiment, here's something someone showed me just yesterday, a teacher, how to tie this monkey paws knot. So maybe I wanted to create a little um, video piece about that. Um, so I could do that here pretty easily by just creating this video. Now the auto focus, I might want to turn that off because that's getting a little bit annoying. Um, if I can turn it off or maybe I just need to hold still a little bit. So I could go through the process here of creating or doing a demonstration. Now the audio that's getting recorded. My camera has a microphone built into it. So it is picking, it may be picking up the audio as I'm talking. Um, but I don't want to count on that uh, to work. So what I'm going to do is after I get this video into my project then I'm going to create a voiceover for this video clip and I'll mute any video, any audio that my uh, camera happened to pick up. If it did pick up any, any audio, if, uh, if you have a document camera, I don't think it picks up the audio. So we'll pretend that that knot's all finished um, and I did a great demonstration. Okay, so you can see down here at the bottom, I've captured a minute 42. I'm going to stop that and it's going to take a minute to process um, or it says less than a minute. We'll just kind of wait for it here. Um, so you can see um, in iMovie, I can. Um, it's a great tool for bringing different kinds of media to the same into into one project. And when I'm finished, I will get a. Um, I'm going to cancel that part, maybe. Um, 
and say done. Okay, so I hope that cancel. I might need to create a shorter um, little piece. Okay, so I just canceled the image stabilization part, which is a feature in um, iMovie that will be really helpful when you take video with your flip camera. But when I've got a stationary camera here, I'm probably not going to need to worry about image stabilization. Okay, so you can see there's my video clip, and it is uh, a minute 44. Okay, so I look at it. Now it's in my event library and, and I want it to become part of my project. So as I come up here, I can, if I click on it, I get those yellow um, outline handles and all I need to do is drag these handles across, to, maybe I can close this so I have a little more room, I'm going to drag these handles by grabbing onto the edges and dragging them to select the part of the video that I want to make part of my project. So, you know, about right there. Um, well, maybe we should do this first section. So maybe I want to show what I was doing there with that paper and writing on the paper. Or not. I'm going to grab the, the, the knot. It's a little more interesting to watch. Okay, so I just drag across that. Let's say down to there. Once I have that, the part of the video selected that I want to use, um, I just click anywhere in the middle of it. You can see my cursor turns into a um, the white grabbing hand. I just click on it, drag it down, place it where I want it to go in my project, and it brings a copy of that video down into my project. Okay, You can see it there. Now, it didn't remove it from up here. You can still see that orange line. Um, or you can still see all the video up here in my project library um, and it did put an orange line saying underneath the parts that I've used just so I know what I've used and uh, so I don't repeat myself. Alright so let's look down here I'm going to pull this up a little bit so you can see now I have um, that video in here as part of the project. Um, it has, it, it, it did pick up some of the um, and I'll mute any video, any Okay, so it did pick up, the camera picked up some of the audio, so I don't want to use that audio that came from this camera uh, because I want to do a voice over here. So if I go to this clip and just roll my mouse over, I don't even need to select anything if I don't want to, just roll my mouse over, there's the little menu button and it comes up and it says, uh, what do you want to adjust? Well, I want to adjust the audio and really I just want this audio to be muted so I'm just going to drag the volume down to zero and now there's no vol audio coming out of that clip. Now I can I can narrate it just like before. Um, I'm going to push the the uh, the microphone button and check my levels. Once I've got my levels checked, I'm going to click down here on this clip. It gives me a countdown. Okay, in this part of my video podcast, I'm going to show you how to tie a monkey paws knot. So a teacher showed me this uh, this cool knot the other day. It's a knot that can be was used by um, sailors to throw ropes uh, to, to weigh down the end of the rope so they could throw it from one ship to another ship if necessary. And I'm taking the rope and I am uh, making three wraps of the this rope around my three fingers. Okay, so that's probably enough. So all you have to do to stop the recording is just click anywhere and it stops recording and I can close my voiceover window and you can see there is the, the recording showing up and I can adjust it to, to put it where I want. Okay, so that's the process of bringing in video from an external camera or I shouldn't say bringing it in, recording straight into iMovie from external camera and then doing a voiceover um, that piece of video that you had captured.